and that's not gonna work because this guy's like coming into our lane. Oh my god, oh, what are you doing? Holy. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is 1.0 edition. So I got a loaner Model X when my uh, Model 3 was getting the hardware 3 upgrade. And it has Autopilot 1.0, which I've been using, uh, I probably have almost 100 miles on it now because in Michigan, you know, we live really far from the service center, so I had a long drive home. And I've been really impressed with Autopilot 1.0. So I figure uh, this won't be the craziest thing because Autopilot 1.0 can't make um, lane changes and it can't take exits or do any of that, but uh, it is really good. Uh, it's good at holding the lane. It can do the lane change um, when you tell it to. So I was gonna see if it could make this left turn, but without a lead car, I can't do that. So it'll make lane changes when you tell it to, uh, and it'll keep your lane and keep your speed. That's about it. So I'm probably gonna make this a quick one. We'll see how it goes. Um, and I will let you know my impressions after uh, we finish this drive. So this is just you know my drive to work. This is what I do normally. So I have a lot of experience with this route. Um, but so far, I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing. So if you're considering a uh, Tesla with, with Autopilot 1.0, I know that's a big question. You know, a lot of people see a new Model 3 is a similar price to a used Model S, and a lot of those, you know, will have Autopilot 1.0. Uh, is it worth it, you know, to, to get uh, the Model S with some older tech for the same price, or sometimes even cheaper? Um, so let's, let's find out. Okay, so we can turn it on here. We'll do that, and that's not gonna work because this guy's like coming into our lane. I wouldn't call that the car's fault. Um, so let's turn it on again. I guess right here is fine. Okay, so it's set to a max of 75, and that's a preset uh, in the control system here. I didn't set that, but I'll just leave it. Um, so the cool thing about Autopilot 1.0 is it can actually read speed limit signs. So it uses the cameras to look at those speed limit signs and set the speed that way. Whereas in the Model 3 and in newer Model S's and Model X's, it has to use map data and sometimes that map data is wrong. So let's see how the car handles this drive. So we did have a car coming up for that lane change. Um, but they stopped for us. I did hit the accelerator a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna change back. So I hit the turn signal, and now I have to actually turn the turn signal off because it's not like in the Model 3, uh, but I'm not sure about newer S and X, but in the Model 3, when you use the turn signal, it falls back down. Um, I don't know what you can see over there. Yeah, so, so the turn signal will fall back down before the turn is complete, so you don't have to do anything. Uh, the other thing that's interesting here, I will try to just show you a picture of this, but in the Model 3, you use this stock here for autopilot. Down twice is to turn it on, and then you use the, the uh, scroll wheels on the steering wheel uh, to change following distance and speed and things like that. Well, in the Model S and X, you actually have a dedicated autopilot stock on the left. And to turn on uh, autopilot, you pull that stock towards you twice instead of going down twice. And to turn it off, you push it away. And I have put the car in neutral several times because I go to turn autopilot off and I just tap this stock here and that puts the car in neutral. Um, and, you know, nothing really bad happens, but, you know, I'll hit the accelerator and um, nothing happens and the car's like, oh, I'll put it in drive. <laughs> um, and then to change your speed, you actually go up and down on that little mini autopilot stock. Uh, up a little bit goes up one mile per hour and up a lot goes up five miles per hour and then same for down. And then following distance, you actually twist it like this. Um, uh, away from you is a greater, uh, or sorry, away from you is closer to the car in front of you and towards you is, is farther from the car in front of you. And it's very strange. It's like when you uh, do windshield wipers in older cars. Uh, but it, it works, of course, you know, when you're used to it, no big deal. Okay, so I just hit my brake there um, to let this semi move over. I know that there's an exit coming up, so he wants to get over, so I'll let him do that, unless he doesn't know his turn signal's on. Okay, there. So, uh, yep, I just intervened there, and then see, I almost went here to turn it back on. Um, and then I'll just turn it back on again, and it centers itself like that. 
uh, and all good. Okay, so it handled that truck. Oh my God, oh, what are you doing? Holy crap. Jeez, man. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty freaky. Um, so it handled that <laughs> semi leaving the highway really well. It waited until they were gone and then started speeding up. Um, and then this thing tried to squish us. So now I'm scared to be next to him. All right, well, let's put autopilot back on, I guess. Okay. So this is a scenario where autopilot uh, 2.5 or 3.0, the latest version of autopilot anyway, would be trying to change lanes to move. Uh, autopilot 1.0 does not care. It's just gonna sit here um, and follow the car in front of it. That's it. So the other things that you're missing with this is there's no auto park. Um, there is dumb summon, I believe. And look here really quick. Yeah, so you do have summon. It'll go back and forth, um, but it won't do smart summon where it finds you in the parking lot. Um, but beyond that, you know, the, the base autopilot so far, I mean, this is really, really good. Um, the, the only thing that you're then uh, again gonna be missing out on is future updates. So Autopilot 1.0 isn't really receiving updates anymore. Um, I'm sure they tweak it to make it better in what it can do, but it's not gonna do anything new. Um, the car, this car does still get updates. It's from 2016 um, and it's still getting updates. So it, it does get slightly better, but it is missing out on some of those other features. The other thing is this um, MCU-1, this isn't really related to Autopilot, but if you're you know considering uh, getting an older Tesla, this, part is the MCU and this is MCU one newer cars are an MCU two, which have a better processor. And so things here are a lot laggier. Now I don't notice it too much. I do uh, notice it. I mean, it is laggy, but it hasn't like hindered my experience all that much. It's not like I'm like angry and it's not working. Um, it seems to work. Okay. Uh, I've seen a lot of people complaining online and uh, from those complaints, I would think this thing was unusable, but it's really not that bad. Now I am not that well versed in hardware 1.0, but I know there's one camera up here above the mirror. There is a front facing radar, just like in newer cars, um, but it's not as good of a radar. I took over there to go over the solid line. And uh, I think that's it. There may be other sensors. I will try to look it up and, and put it up on the screen if I find it. Um, but in newer cars, you have three cameras up front, uh, better radar with higher definition and more power. And then of course you have the two cameras on the sides and the camera in the back, which obviously there is a camera in the back, but I don't know if this is used as part of autopilot. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't think it is. Um, but for what you get, again, so far I'm, I'm really impressed. You can see this drive has been really good. Um, I've only taken over what, twice or something. And it was due to, you know, other drivers kind of getting in the way. I guess I did have to take over for that semi to merge in um, because the car, this car will not respond to turn signals. Um, and newer cars kinda do. Okay, so coming around a bend here, uh, the car is not really slowing. Uh, okay, yeah, it did slow a bit. So again, this is autopilot 1.0. It's it's doing this, I'm, I'm not doing it, I'm just ready. Um, and I do know there are a couple of big potholes up here, so I might avoid those, but yeah, really good. It, it took a little longer to slow for the bend, uh, I think, than the Model 3 would. Um, but if you're used to that, it wouldn't be a big deal, and it works really well. Again, this is from like 2015, so really impressive stuff. 
Oh, there's a P85D. So I'm trying to start a lane change here. We just got a lot of cars coming. All right, so turn signal on. There is a van coming up, but I hit the accelerator and car gets over perfectly. I turn the turn signal off and we're all good. All right, so my final thoughts on this stuff, we're coming up to the end here. This is really good and if you are considering, um, sorry if that's loud, I have to defrost, the front keeps fogging up. If you're considering uh, you know, an older Tesla and one of the decisions you're trying to make is, do you need autopilot uh, 3.0, like the latest autopilot, or will you be able to deal with autopilot 1.0? If you're okay not getting those updates um, and not getting any new features, this lane keep, uh, lane change with turn signal, auto lane change with turn signal, uh, and the speed keeping on the highway is like pretty much perfect in my opinion. I, so I'm well over 100 miles now, and on the highway, I haven't had to uh, take over to do anything at all. Um, besides, you know, like the guy getting over or whatever, but like it's not, I'm saying the car hasn't made a mistake. It's not like it was gonna go off the road or was veering into other lanes or anything like that. It's, it's been rock solid and I'm really surprised. Um, it makes me a little sad that my car is not <laughs> more advanced than it is, um, but we're getting there. Um, so this is really good. So I would say uh, Autopilot 1.0, if you do a lot of hi highway driving, is still gonna be great for you. Um, so I really enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions, maybe things I didn't cover, just leave them in the comments down below and you will see me in the next video. Oh, I'll grade it. Uh, I'll give it uh, an A. I'm gonna give it an A because it killed it. It did a really good job. All right, see you next time.